Dweeby day, babe. Yeah. <laughs> it's your new catchphrase, Dweeby day, babe. <laughs> How's it going, Dweebo? Um, now I just have to get like a synth and throw it. Yeah, I don't know. I've got this wind here, so it may yeah, suck. It Let me get you good. from this position. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot Today, of awkward wind. Um, I'm going with Sean, just Sean and I. We're going to the Anaheim Comic Yeah, Cup Sean there. C. Phillips. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Me. The man himself. Your fat and, brother. And I'll try and get some shots with both of us at the place, at the convention, to see how much I can get. And um, This is like your first time it. being yeah. on this train since, like, I years guess maybe ago. four or five first years ago, maybe. Yeah, when we first went to, yeah. Our vacation, we went from San Diego to Los Angeles. And this weird guy the line, he was like, oh, it's a complete difference from Los Angeles to San Diego. You'll be in the highway. Someone will roll their window down and start shooting at you. And I was like, well, that's a great way of getting me to want to go to the place. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it should be a fun day, and you know, Purple Gino are not here today, if you guys are wondering, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's not their kind of thing. Mm -hmm. This is more our thing, but I don't know how big a convention it'll be compared we'll have to, to the see. San Diego one, but... Yeah, it I'll could be small peen, or it could be huge peen. Yeah. Let's just say this, it could be our peen, or it could be MJ's peen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're just on the train now to Anaheim, and you got your hot peen dog, yeah. and as the guy said at Clown College joke, he said, oh, you know, let's make this cool. Oh, yeah, the radioactive um, teats, yeah, the, the boobs. Yeah, they look, they look um, like uh, the one that happened in Japan, which is unfortunate, but... Um, so he said that funny joke. He was like, let's make this cold dog a hot dog. Yeah. And I was like, no, that's a good joke. But yeah. I won't show myself right now because it's really bad lighting. But um, yeah. yeah, I'll just show some of the scenery, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. We really go right up next to the water in this train. It's funny. It's way different than uh, the one when we go to like Philadelphia or something. You just see city and all that. So nice scenery. Yeah. Almost fall in. <laughs> Hey, Dweebo. Hey, guys. Um, we just got off the train at Anaheim. and we're There's no, seems to be no building. There's no, like, transportation center or anything next to it. So we just walked to some pizza place. And yeah, Zito's here. Pizza is the only way yeah. I could get the full address. It might be good for all we know, but we didn't need it. Right no. Now. Let's talk about a little story now about you, Sean. You I were, mentioned it on my video, too, but you know, you it was, were, you know, it was okay. in the bathroom. You know, and I'll talk about it a little bit more detail on your channel. Okay, it was the handicapped bathroom. Because it's a bigger bathroom. I'm yeah. Fat, and I don't like the small bathroom there. And yeah. It's not just because I'm fat. It's because right on the side of it, they have a hand dryer. Uh-huh. So when you sit down in there, it fires your nutsack. Yeah. It's like right p facing down. So you're trying to get comfortable and you... Take a yeah. It's like going... Psh. I'm like, I had enough of this. Yeah. So I'm in there and I'm in the, you know, the mix of, you know, finishing up, getting out of that bathroom. Uh-huh. And this guy jams the door open. And I'm yeah, and you had it locked. You checked the lock. I locked like... it. I checked it. I pulled as hard as I could. Yeah. And this jockey guy opened it up and he came and he was like, for like three seconds. He was just in awe because of what he's seen. I, mean, I was and... like saying, you fucking asshole, close the door. <laughs> I mean, he so, saw everything. So that was a very um, interesting story to tell all of you. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I know. What's well, we just got out of the taxi. It took forever to get, but yeah, it was, it was worth it once we finally got here. But look at how huge this convention center is. And look, they've got in there food. Oh, they've got a Sparrow Pizza and Submarina. Oh, yeah, and it's the Baja Fresh. I like that weird one. Yeah, there's the Submarina. If you guys know California, Submarina is like a San Diego sub place. But there's like a fake named one that doesn't have the hyphen or has a hyphen in it. And it's like um, fake subs. <laughs> Well, we're about to chow down on some Submarina sub sandwiches, aren't we? And they actually have some flavor on, like, uh, the Subway ones that you get. But, yeah. So take a nice bite of that. And, uh, mm -hmm. Would you look at that, bad boy? I bet it just makes you all hungry, doesn't it? Not that guy who saw my pee. No, not him. He's not going to be eating for a long time. That's a lot of R2-D2 right there. Man. So we're at the event now. I'm trying to just get as much as I can because that's what's really fun. So now on the floor in Comic-Con. Well, you already yeah, saw it a minute ago, but this is a better view. Mm -hmm. And what would you say it's like so far compared to the other one? I mean, it's a little, it's small, but it's yeah. not. Yeah, it's got, it's compact, it but it's got a lot of selection. It's more stuff than, 
it's not all just comics. There are some movies and stuff too. Yeah, and there's some stars from some B horror movies and whatnot. A lot of different stuff. Yeah. So. Dan Fugler, I mean, he's all right, I guess. Yeah. Not much to say. For him. He was kind of transparent. Like when you meet him, he's not as like as like electric a person as you'd might expect. Say that about me too, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Maybe he's just introverted about that kind of Maybe. thing. What are we doing now? Getting 80s ice cream. 80s swirl. You're getting some swirl ice cream. Yeah. I don't think I am because I don't know what I'd get. But oh. Ooh, you enjoying that flavor burst there, Sean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flavor burst. I think this thing is in, in San Diego too. It's it's at all of them, I think. Here's the wall of T-shirts. Yeah, it's gigantic. That had some cool stuff like King of the Hill shirts and stuff I've never seen. Too bad White Boy couldn't be here, but he's working there. Yeah. Well, we just well, left the event in question, and uh, you know, it was it was fun. I'm it's sort of a tease to like the real comic. The genuine Kevin Smith over there. Look. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Well. I can't believe it, but he's genuine. Look, that's the real Kevin Smith. Yeah, with the movie's actually, hat and everything. His name is actually Kevin Peace. Show him again. Kevin P. Smith. Yeah, and um, you know, I, I showed everything that you know really stood out to me, but I didn't film everything because I didn't know the, really the policy on it. And um, you didn't, is that in the widescreen one? Or is yeah, it, it is. Okay. And um, you know, you guys will see way more when the real San Diego Comic Con is in town, and I'll try and get all of that. So yeah, just I'll keep you posted for that back in July. But yeah. um, if I see anything else worthy of showing, then. I I will. Yeah. yeah. Well, look here, Sean. After all the yelling and screaming, there's no station and all that, whatnot. Here's the station right here, Amtrak station. So look who was right and look who was wrong. You are so dumb. So, yeah. You are so dumb. Well, hey, we're in the, you know, the station you said didn't even exist, yeah. but um, well, we gotta, we gotta know, go while we're know. taking an earlier train out because we were originally going to leave at like nine, and that's way too long. We yeah. were there for a good like two, two and a half hours, so and we walked around we got our fill. Too. Yeah, we saw about everything that you could see. Yeah. And um, so yeah, uh, next thing I'll probably show is on the train. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this installment, and I'll link Sean's uh, perspective of the vlog. Would you look at that, Sean? If we had gotten off at the right side of the road, then there's all the cabs. We would have had to wait for 20 minutes in the heat. And there's a stadium right there where, it's where I told you was where the station was, and Sean didn't even believe there was a station here. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, guys. We just got off the train now. And I just wanted to tell a funny story, didn't you too, about a guy that we um, came across at the station there in Anaheim. And the guy was from the convention we were at. And he was like, so what did you guys buy there? And, uh, <laughs> and then Sean was just like, oh, I just got some autographs and DVDs. And then um, he was like, do you guys like Black Ops? And, and Sean was like, not really. And he walked away and he comes back and he's like, yeah, like, I was going to bring my lightsaber to the convention, but it was too much to carry. <laughs> it just cracked <laughs> up, and, like, I had to run away. I was like, I couldn't handle it. Oh, no. And we're both exhausted. I was falling asleep on the train listening to the Cage songs. And, yeah. yeah. So, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, again, I'm going to link to Sean's version of this video onto my channel. So, yeah. 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 Sounds good, Mr. The Kid.